What's going on guys? Today was the combat cast and again, another banger today. We got to see Smoke, Ashra and Garrus and they broke down all the characters we got to see a Q&A exhibition and a couple more cameos but I think there's a little bit more to break down which means throughout the weekend I'm going to be going over individual characters in an in-depth breakdown about how they can play how you can implement them in your play style and what cameos they can actually pair with and of course I'm going to start with my favorite of the three which is smoke I personally am a rush down type of player so I really like characters just like smoke and there is a couple of more cameos that I think would really pair well with him other than sub-zero which we saw in the combat cast and don't forget I am doing the giveaway which is gonna be on the 16th in which you can visit this video and get all the details about how you can be eligible to enter in now hit that like and subscribe button now let's get after it beginning with smokes normals he has everything you would want in a rushdown pressure heavy character everything he has is forward moving he has great mix-up in his combo strings and and his 50-50s are really fast, long distance, forward moving combo starters. Most notably, his overhead and low combo starter. If you're familiar with Mortal Kombat 11's Nightwolf, his overhead is very similar to Nightwolf's forward two, and Smoke's low combo starter is the same as Nightwolf's back three. One of my favorite things about Smoke is he has great Oki, meaning he has great options after he knocks down an opponent. For instance, his anti-air, where he throws his Karambit at an airborne opponent, if you eat exit, it will pull the opponent close to you. This also doubles as a combo ender because if you want to keep the pressure going on your opponent, especially if they're in the corner, then your Karambit throw is probably your best ender. Smoke's teleports are insane this time around. Starting with his smoke bomb, it tracks the opponent so no matter if your opponent is up close or far away, you will always teleport behind your opponent wherever they are on the map. It ends with you very close to your opponent, again giving you really good Oki to follow up with more pressure on your opponent. I can also see the smoke bomb as a great tool if you are stuck in the corner. You can wake up or deal a really quick combo, throw out that smoke bomb for a side switch, and turn things around on your opponent and put them in the corner. I would be careful with the smoke bomb because it is punishable, as you can see here in the Keepers of Time trailer when he throws it out against Garrus. <laughs> The cool feature with the smoke bomb is if you EX it, you will go invisible, making things very hard for your opponent to guess what you are going to do. So smoke is already fast with really good 50-50s and mix-ups. Now imagine you can't see him. Now smoke's classic teleport is probably going to be your most used special. It starts out as a low and after it connects, it does a side switch, which can in turn also lead up to a cameo combo extender such as Sonya's wave punch. Also, if you EX the special it will lead you into an air combo now here's where the fun really starts you can cancel the special what i love about this is this will allow you to play mind games with your opponent because you cancel it for block streams and you can go into 50 50s you can also use this for a combo extender as well and last if you ex cancel the special you will go invisible so again smoke has great 50 50s now imagine not being able to see them his last teleport is his phase teleport this is a very fast low that is not only great for going under projectiles but great for closing the gap against those pesky zoners because if you don't want to completely hit your opponent you can cancel the special in which you can cancel in front of your opponent and you can follow up with a 50 50 or a throw i also saw in the qa exhibition that you can use this as a combo ender which is going to be really good to keep your opponent locked down in the corner like obviously you let a block there instead of holding it right. like because I mean, the combo is a bit over but second comes in establishes the rocket again oh, and last is his fatal blow and if you didn't think smoke was a mix-up monster already his fatal blow is a full screen tracking overhead which means zoners are going to have a really hard time against this because smoke will be able to hit you with an overhead from anywhere on the screen and now for the cameo fighters that would pair well with him Although I agree with 16-bit about using cameo fighters that will make up for your weaknesses, with Smoke, I would rather use a cameo that is going to
to boost my strengths, especially since I'm using a rushdown character because the best defense is more offense, am I right? So for the combat cast, 16-bit paired smoke with Sub-Zero to give smoke the ice shield. Now, if I was going against a zoner, that is a great option. However, if I was going against anyone else, I'd use a cameo that would do well to add pressure, especially when the opponent is knocked down. Also, someone who's going to help extend combos and it would help if that cameo had an AOE. In the QA exhibition, they paired Smoke with Sector, which in this case is a great combination. Sector has his pop-up, which is a great combo starter and extender, but more importantly, Sector has his homing missiles, which will be great for dealing pressure to a knockdown opponent to keep them locked down in the corner. Exactly. Ooh. Big combo. Setting up that more pressure, so there you go. anti-air smoke bomb to set up the smoke bomb or the uh, sector rocket. Now another cameo that I think will do really well with smoke is Serena. Her pop-up is a great combo starter and extender that is very similar to Sector's. She also has a boomerang that is another good combo starter and extender, and because it can pull the opponent towards you, that can pair really well with Smoke's forward moving combo starters, which means it's going to do really well against Footsie's characters that are trying to play the neutral. But her most important ability is her AoE that she lays down on the ground. If you're able to pin down an opponent in the corner, her AoE is going to be great for Smoke because it adds another layer of damage and causes damage while you are laying on the pressure with your block strings. Smoke is going to be a nightmare and I love it. I am so stoked about Smoke. I can't wait to try out Smoke and pair him with either Serena or Sector and try him with a bunch of other characters. Of course, I think the Sub-Zero pairing was great against Zoners because of the anti-projectile feature. And I was also really stoked to see that we are getting more cameo fighters with utilities that add things like a shield. So yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to be going over Ashra and make sure to check out the video about the giveaway that I'm doing. And until next time, shred out. Magic. Magic. Oh, oh lantern. Got a dog real quick. Also. Well, smoke is getting a lot of jumping, so you got to use the lantern until it prevents yeah. it. She has excellent mid range and in control of the lantern. Super fun. Nice use of sector there to just get rid of that other uh, camera. Yes. Yeah. Here you can see, trading distance. Oh. Oh. There she goes. Ooh. Mid of the knee. Had a breaker though. Remember, in this game, breaker takes three bars. Right. You get a cameo too. Exactly. Ooh. Big combo. Setting up that more was pressure. So there you go. The PX anti air smoke bomb to set up the smoke bomb or the uh, structural rocket. Mm -hmm. Smoke on it.